uh, the indigenous desert lady um, and other native people. And he mods Josh in Kentucky who are flip floppers. Um, and he does yeah. not eat in native spaces, but he likes to attack native women. And it says here, look. Okay, 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 okay. So, hey, Glenn, I've seen you on a lot of my lives and you you look like your, your skin, you look native. Um, what's up? What's going on? There's a lot of accusations against you. I guess we got to hold court real quick. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was on the live on uh, Empress Jazzy's um, live. She was talking about something and I, I went in there and I was talking with them, letting them know about um, why tribes deny um, people people of color to be in their tribes because of the blood, and then they don't hold they don't hold true to who they get with. They diminish their blood out, so the tribes just can't have them if they have a blood quantum or a lineage thing. They don't care to hold the blood, and then she comes up and she starts telling me about her problems about somebody that wasn't even there talking about Iopium, and I just said I he's not even here. You don't right, work. And after I said that, after because I said that, said... then I apologized quickly. And then I even wrote it out to her in the comments saying, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. And then, like, just scrolling through TikTok, she's always talking about me. I, I don't know how, why, but she's out there diminishing my name, calling me stuff. And I'm just like, what the heck? So I, I, I got in her DMs and I just asked her, why does my name keep staying in your mouth? That's all. And then she just started trying to tell me a bunch of problems about herself. And no, she was calling me all this stuff. No, I mean, you know what, Glenn? Glenn, Glenn she wants, forget me, about her. If she wants me forget to, about her. If she wants me to I already add, told if you she to leave me, me alone. To the DM, I can give it to you. Okay, yeah, forget about her, but it started with Mono. If it didn't start with her, it started with Mono. I should have started with him. Mono, say what say yeah. ask him whatever you wanted to ask him. No, no, yeah, because uh you know, you're obviously always in Kentucky's live. You don't you don't even come to the Native American lives no more. And when you did one time, you were being disrespectful and my mods blocked you. You were being disrespectful towards the women. And it says here, Man, I'm I never some, ho I hold never on, Glenn, hold on. Lives. I'm going to read something you said here. Uh, someone asked you, Cheyenne asked you about it. Why you why do you uh, mod for them? And you wrote. Uh, how are they pretendians if they have records? What do you mean by that? So you do stick up for these people. Yeah. You you, said, what do you mean by that? What did you mean while this attacking is Native women. They and then you records. demanded stir fry what is the record? whose DNA on this. a reservation produce a DNA test. I don't, I don't know them personally. How am I supposed to go against what they have? So you agree with them? That's what you're saying. You agree with them. They have How records. do I agree with them? I just I, you just it's not said my they're place not to say. You just said they're not pretending. So that so they're Native Americans because According they have the records. Okay. They have the Yo records. guys, guys, guys. Let me ask Glenn this. Let me ask Glenn this. So, so obviously you believe that there's some truth to what they're saying. Um, with with the questions that I have behind me, have any of them ever spoke their language? Told a creation story that tied them to this land? Told you a name of a clan or a tribe besides Blackfoot and Cherokee and Choctaw, the five civilized tribes? Have they done any of that? Do they have? Uh, were they at Leonard Peltier? Do they have hold? Uh, you know, m missing endangered w uh, women marches or save the children marches and in the hood you know where we're how come if they're so native to america how come they didn't fight with us to keep it from getting taken from us if i may clarify something as well black I know, is I not never, i never said they're from up north but um but um you know what i mean they're not from the like we have a simple questions like what's your but language? Do um, where do you come from? What tribe do you represent? Listen, yeah, let him talk. I can't tell jo jo Joya what he wants to know if you're interrupting. And uh, I block. I mean, I they, muted never, her, they bro. never denied it. They never, they never denied it. When I asked them those questions, they say I don't know. At least they didn't say what we we lost our language because of this or that, and then they didn't say that we're fake. So, you know, they said they got the records and they're trying to reconnect or whatever. And 
what else can I say? At least they were honest. They didn't just say they didn't attack me and then they didn't, you know, lie about what they don't know. Like everybody else does that pretends. I hear you, bro. So, but don't you feel some type of way when they, they're calling the Siberian or even you behind your back, bro, calling you a mongoloid? Doesn't that get you mad? Who is they, the, the people that are saying they're, that, they're no. the, that they're the native Indians? That's who they is. Read the panel. It doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me because they're not claiming my tribe. Bro, they're claiming other people, your brothers and sisters' tribes on this map, bro. Just because they're not claiming whatever tribe you're from doesn't mean that they won't someday. There, there are people coming well, for when that happens, everyone. I'll know. Like they're, they're I, I, yo, I get it, I Glenn. Bother, I, I understand. I ask people questions. I understand where you're coming I from. I really do because I, 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 I even try to give them a chance. Glenn, Glenn, I tried to give them a chance too. I, I know where you're coming from, but man, you you can't be that gullible. Come on, they're trying to tell you. They're trying to tell you that. Dude, I don't even have to tell you what they're trying to say. I, I feel like you, you don't see the the racist panels and the fucked up shit that they be saying about us. Even you, behind your back. They probably laugh as soon as you well, leave listen, the panel, I'll bro. Tell you if you want, I'll tell you if you want to know. I'll tell you if you want to know. All of this yeah, stuff they do. claim it's, it doesn't hold weight. It doesn't hold weight, bro. And and all, the, all those tribes that they claim, those people aren't even fighting them. They're not in their business. They're not because they're just living their life. They don't give a they don't give a f what they're saying. So how come we're going and fighting that battle and we're not even part of those tribes either? It's not that they're part. Not it's not about which tribe they're claiming, bro. It's that they're saying that we're not even. Uh, I get what you're saying, bro. Like we shouldn't even give a fuck. I totally understand that. But it's the fact that they we, we they don't talk about us with any type of respect. It's always downplaying what we have to say or, you know, straight up just making fun of us. And if I – dude, I don't know why you don't feel the way I do. Maybe, maybe you haven't, you know – been on TikTok that long enough to get tired of seeing the same shit every day. I don't know. Gloria, Gloria, I, I have debunked bit videos on my stuff and I I got tired of fighting. How 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 come they're not stopping if we're debunking them after you know over and over it's, and over? How well let me ask, ask answer me this, bro. Answer me this. have they answered any of the questions that I have behind me? Um, I don't know. I don't know what your questions are. They're right there, bro. They said, like, if they have language, where's the stories? How come the clan, tribes, territories, reservations aren't black? Why don't they stand up by us when we need help? Where were they when we were getting slaughtered? Those, those are the questions. Have they answered any of those? No, because I never asked them. Those I asked them the basic questions that we usually know that we can tell that they're native. And I, I, like I said, I told you, they just said, I don't know. At least they didn't lie. They said they're trying to reconnect and learn their language from their elders or whatever. And like I said, they had, they're the one. Or I'm only for Kentucky and Josh, you know, even though they, even though they get in their emotions and fight back, but they say they have their records. And who am I to tell them that they don't? I don't know them. Okay, but can I just kick it in their lives because record, they're interesting and then and, Blaine, and, and I'm, has been on I know record, that I have been in lives with black, her when she has been calling heck? people on, man, from indigenous communities. She's been calling people from indigenous communities. She's been saying that we're not indigenous, saying that we are not actual natives because we're not black. Yeah, Glenn, I think you're on the wrong side. Actually, hey, hey, I've been in their panels. I stopped hey, going that's, into that's me and uh, for real all. Nobody. Me and B for real all got into it. But at the it end of the day, look. It doesn't affect him because they're not well, talking I don't know about his people I like they're talking time. about mine. And he does So, Josh, Josh has been, I don't know. So, Josh originally <laughs> was questioning, you know, well, about that, the natives. That's and your guys' It ain't mine. What are you telling me for? Oh, I, I can't fight for you. 
Hey, Glenn. I get it. You know, you can you can go be their pet if you want, but I'm trying to help you out, bro. I'm telling you, you're on the wrong side, and you're helping out the enemy. These people are not I'm our not friends, bro. Nobody. I'm not confirming anything. I'm not you're confirming being anything. their mod, bro. You're being a mod. So I don't do shit to nobody. Yeah. Bro, I no, would I make could, you be. Honestly, I would let you honestly, be my mod never, if you were on the right side, bro. Right, I could never embarrass my people like that. Like honestly, yeah, Glenn, you wouldn't even talk to me when shameful. I try to talk to you. Dude. That's shameful, Glenn. They Glenn's had made fun of our babies being yet. unalive. They had made fun of the genocide on our people, and yet you're sticking next to them. I could never embarrass my tribe like that. Man. Well, that's you. You're, you're not me too. You know what, Glenn? You know, I ain't, you're, you're a man, you can make your own decisions, you can believe what whatever the fuck you want. There's people in my tribe that I believe in Jesus and are Christians. Just, you know, oh, do yeah. I hate them? No. Are they my family? Uh, yeah, they could be. But you know what? Until until you see what's sitting right in front of you, you you're you're sit you're looking the wrong way, bro, is what I'm saying. Like you you should be you should be over here with us. Can I just say something? I am, because I, I, I correct their information when it's wrong. I give them the information when they when they when they speak against us. I give them the right information. So I do stick up for us. I get on there yeah. I with those ladies that speak a lot of propaganda against us, and I tell them that they're wrong. I'm sure you do, I do Glenn, because I've I've been in your shoes. I've been in your shoes, Glenn. I really have. Like I gave these people a chance. And, you know, for I, I just know it's a matter of time until you realize wh what we're talking about. Well, I've been where you're at, though. Wait for then, because right now it's not bothering me. Yeah, I know. But until until you say something that, you know, they don't agree hey, with, guys, you're, you'll be forever their pet. Hey, brother, they're hosting our live in a different live. Some woman here just admitted that. She said, I was listening from another live. So um, I think their scout is giving them information or having our live oh, on their live. Okay. So, okay. Well, that being said, all you guys that are saying that natives aren't original to North America, I invite you, please, come to my panel. Answer these simple questions. They're simple questions. You can call me a Siberian. You can call me a Mongoloid. I got thick skin. I can take it. But just come answer these Zora. simple questions. What's up, man? And I was just going to tell you that the like some of the black community is taking care of it. And when the, when the native ladies or the native men go in there and cheer on, they don't even try to get on the panel and, you know, try to debunk them. It's just all the black people doing the work. So that's the only thing I have a problem with is like I try to tell them to get on the panel, but they're scared. All they want to yeah, do I is know. cheerlead from the side. They don't want to try to get up there and do the shit themselves. So and you how, know what, how Glenn? Defending anything when all they do is cheer on other people and they don't they don't do it themselves. And, and you know what? Darren does it. I Glenn. get Darren do it. Glenn, I've been that guy that answers the questions that, you know, so they get shit right and they don't make misconceptions about us. I've been exactly where you're at, bro. And I'm telling you, dude, you're getting played, you're getting used. And they block the mutes natives. And when natives do get up there, they all gang up or call they us They gang out. up on our women, bro. Yeah. They gang up on our women. Call them out our names. All kind shit, of stuff they start like that. that shit. What, is, what do you mean? Wait, 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 hey. See what I mean, dude? Hey. See what I mean? Yo. Okay, yo, we got somebody. We got somebody. When I was on there, they dropped Iopium for coming at me sideways. Here we go. We're going to hear some simple questions from the Cato Indian of the Mississippi tribe where nobody else is a part of, right? Hey, but you. Let, let Glenn back up or I'm leaving. Okay. okay. See? See, Glenn, you're you're one of their pets. Look, he wants his yeah, pet this up is, here. This is, he need, he needs he needs some backup. Man, how come when I go in the panel, I don't need nobody, but you need somebody. 
Is that you need somebody to hold your hand through? You need somebody to hold your hand through all this. It's not that it's the fact that Glenn respects and understands that there was multiple demographics of people here and gets it unlike y'all. So I respect the fact that 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 my folks too. He's here. He's here, bro. Due to the fact of him, him due to the fact of due to the fact of him being a real Native American and having an open mind, bring the homie back up, bitch. Look at this guy. Bro, you ain't gonna disrespect. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on. Yo, it's funny. It's funny, it's funny how he'll call me a bitch as soon as Glenn comes up here. He think cause he knows that pisses me off and I'm just gonna drop his ass. But no. He's just weak. You are gonna answer these questions, bro. So hey, tell us, him. introduce yourself the native way for all the natives in the panel. Introduce Stop yourself the native way. Stopping through Shreveport ain't going to Louisiana, dude. You never even been here. Yeah, because my mother's mother's family got genocided and killed in the documentation. Yeah, they and we, never were even here. We have an abandoned You're house that we, we have an abandoned You're house that we have an abandoned house that we didn't know nothing about because the person that was there got unalive. But come on, keep going though. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, can, yeah, hey yo, OPM. Yo guys, guys, chill, chill, chill. So we got, um, you know, if you could show your face to the panel, OPM. I know he won't do that, but. Introduce yourself the native way. You know, you want to be a native Indian, right? You're you're in a you're na- in a native I, Indian I, I, panel. That's the thing. That's the confusion. I'm not a native. My birth certificate does. I not said Indian, native, native Indian. I'm a bro. The type, that's the thing with y'all people. Y'all play according, semantics. According to the document, how am I playing semantics when I have documentation and even my birth certificate that I got from the government says American Indian? So you want me to change what the documentation says and say something that you want me to say? Okay. Well, well okay. which tribe are you from? Tell us what tribe you're from. What federally recognized tribe you're from? Because in order for it to say American Indian, you have to be from a federally recognized tribe. So tell us what this federally another, recognized this, tribe this you're from, bro. Thing because of you and others not knowing the process of how it depends on the situation. It depends on what has. What's your situation? It depends on what has transpired with your family history. Everyone does not. Like I said, what's it's your situation? situation? Listen. It's situational because there's multiple situations that people besides having to be from a fairly recognized tribe, they're able to do that with the documentation or if certain things have happened to their family that they're able to prove they can do that shit. Okay, well, what's your situation? So you want me to tell you my personal information of why I was able to do Oh my God, this is what we're talking about, people. They dance around the questions and they deflect. You want me to go through the story, even though y'all even keep saying that I'm playing victim and all this other victim, but you want me to tell you the story. No, nobody even said that, bro. So you want, they look at your comments, bro. And that's what everybody always keeps saying every time I have something to say. Stop worrying about the comments. I'm asking you a question, bro. Okay. You can't even introduce yourself the native way. You're on a native panel, a real native panel, and you're making yourself look like a real pretendian bro so i'm making myself look like a real pretendian How because i you introduce the- yourself because how so much wait. did you pay the washita moors for that fake documentation because nobody's birth certificate has a race on it lady, introduce yourself bro the native way come on lady i live in california so you're speaking for every state because some states don't have you, race yeah on. you it live in california you weren't born there, there. It depends you on you. It depends. Huh? Look, I'm gonna show you how slow. I'm gonna show you how slow. I'm gonna show you how slow people are because it depends on what state you live in, and then they. You got a real the California since I was right born. Here. Since I was born in eighties. Where 80s, does Gumbo come from, dude? Yo, guys, he's never even answered one question. He's deflected every single time I've a- asked him. Tell us who you are. Tell us your situation. Where were you? I'm gonna stop yelling now. From where? Where was your Cato people from? Tell me that. All right, Opium, tell, introduce yourself the native question from? or start answering some of the questions on the panel, bro, because you're making yourself look like a wabo. Can we maybe not use that term just for the sake of being able to, like, have a conversation? That word has been weaponized. Okay. Come on, Opium. Can you can you answer a few simple questions? What do you want me to answer, bro? You, you don't. Okay, so one of the uh, what native, happens to native, people's if language? Native, if native, okay, if native Indian, if native Indians are not original to the North American, exactly. Be for all. Okay, if I, I associate myself with Glenn too, I associate myself with anyone, anyone who has set up there and not have 
been able okay, bro. to tell you that I you, have You really said can't that. follow simple directions. Can you introduce yourself the native way? Tell us your situation. Who are you? So you Who are so, you to the so, native community? So, Who are you? So you want me to explain to you how I'm tied. No, I'm asking you to introduce yourself the native way. Listen to it's the not way that I'm hard. trying to tell you what you're doing. No, you're trying to deflect, bro. No, answer listen, the question. He can't. Bro, because this it's is what you're doing. He can't answer listen, a simple question. He wants to do things on his terms. No, it's and this not. And this ain't his panel. It's my panel. I'm trying, to have you I'm trying to have you realize what you're doing to a collective group of the other people besides just myself that may be in the situation. Bro, do you know what your listen, people have done to my people? Tell, answer the question, bro. Introduce yourself. We don't know who the fuck you are. You got a cartoon as a picture, bro. Hold on. Are you not acknowledging other demographics of... No, bro. Stop deflecting and listen, asking bro. me questions. I'm asking you. I invited you, you to come to, not to my panel. That's in consideration that's been ethnocide and genocide. So you're, taking in, you're not taking in consideration other people that may not just look like me, right? That have culture that has been ethnocide or genocide and have documentation. That you're telling them anybody that's part of that. They don't have no, culture. Hold Where's hold the listen. language? Where's your listen. story? What's your anybody, clan? Anyone you guys make fun of Pow Wow. Anyone, that, anyone that's anyone that's tied to an ethnicity tribe, anyone that I don't care what they look like. You mean to tell me anyone that's tied that have that kind of story that's tied to that shit? You want them to tell you their fucking language and their culture and they're from an ethnocide genocide clan? Are you fucking nuts? Yes. Bro, you're trying to make something out of nothing. All I did was ask you, who the fuck are you? Okay, Tell us so your situation. Let me say it slowly. Let me say, let me say it again yourself. slowly and calmly. Let me say it again slowly and calmly. Yeah, yeah, don't 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 deflect, bro. You're not, hold on. You're, you're, not that, you're not taking it. So you're, so you're basically not taking in consideration. Oh my God, God yo. Listen, so you're saying other demographics. Yo, he's not going to be able to answer the questions simply. It's like yes or no questions. Brother, All I did was ask him, tell us who the fuck you are, bro. We don't know who the fuck you are. You're saying you're native, and there's a whole community out here full of natives that don't know who the fuck you are. You got a fucking cartoon as your fucking profile picture, bro. You're speaking on shit you don't know shit about. All we did was ask you a million fucking times, where's your language? And he said, oh, you, you really want to ask me this and that? Yeah, all he did was deflect, deflect, deflect. You can come back up here if you fucking ask. Ask, dude, I'll, I'll go first. I ask you a question, and then you ask me a question. How about that, bro? You can't Damn, you can't with these people. A simple you can't with these people. A simple introduction, brother, and he couldn't even do that. Like a, like a native way of introducing. Where are you from? What's your state? What's your tribe? That's it. First thing I, I not, said when I got But this is the thing. I'm not native. I'm not a native, Whoa. though. You're American Indian, right? If I, if we're in a panel full of American so Indians, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have to introduce myself. I'm not native, so why would I have to introduce myself? I'm not claiming you guys, bro. We're American Indians, all of us. You are. You've been claiming my people. It's literally the same term, you weirdo. Yeah, dude. We're you American Indians. Not according, people not according to people. the documentation that I have from the from my people and from California. It's not even from the people who gave me my form when I talked to them on the phone said it's how, not how the same. The, bro, that's that's cool. That's, that's, yo, <laughs> hey guys, he's not going to answer any of the questions. He's stuck on the semantics. Exactly. We don't it's need funny, a dude. fucking form. We don't need a paper. We fucking know this shit. It was taught to us when we were kids. Our uxos, our grandmas and grandpas, they taught us this shit. This, our elders, they say, sweat a coney when it's come to eat. They say, Jay, stop moving. Be quiet. So don't, Dios. We, this, this is what we grew up on. These people don't have no language, no culture. They're trying to steal our identity. And you can't even answer a few simple questions. All I did was say, introduce yourself the native way. And he had a problem with that. And literally any indigenous person, when another indigenous asks us, hey, who are you? We say it with pride. We don't try to That's deflect. Right. Well, who are you? That's right. You know, no. That's right. That's right. With pride. And you know what? He keeps on mentioning California, but he has no ties. Who are you people from California? He keeps me mentioning my Cato people, too. And he's <laughs> never been anywhere near where Cato people are, or he knows nothing about Cato people. Only okay, so looked up Glenn, like what, Glenn, this is your friend. I'd like to hear from Glenn what he has to say. What do you have to say about that, bro? Like I said, I, 
I said, I don't know his paperwork, so I can't tell him he's not what he says he is. We're not saying that he, he's crazy. not. He's not even answering simple questions. Like, who the fuck? We don't know who the fuck he is. He hasn't even said anything. See, see, just like You're right. Say, we don't know who the fuck he is. So how can we tell him what, what he is, what he claims? We're not telling him what Therese's he is. Right there. Therese is right there. She just tried to debunk him and let her do it. That's her tribe that he's claiming. Why well, is it up to me? Look, I've no, it's because you, you, you'll be in all their, their panels. He's claiming that he's a Mississippian. Uh, I know this opium. He's, before, he said he's a Mississippian uh, native from the Cato tribe. The Mississippians, well, no, they're like long that. gone extinct. You haven't seen no, Let that. me tell you that. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. They're, 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 they're federally, Mississippians, federally they're recognized. They're the Most of them are in Oklahoma. Tribes. But we still do have some here in Louisiana too. We're we're not extinct, but we do have some Creole people that are enrolled in my tribe, and we have some Métis people enrolled in my tribe, even though we have some full Native people too. So, but people don't know about our Louisiana culture here, and that's the thing. Like they they need to stop. And he's barely even never even been here. He don't even know. And when I ask him questions about Cato or any any of our stuff, he don't know. He don't know the language. He made he looked up four random words, said the color YT, not the person, woman, man, dog, and and, and was saying he was speaking the language. <laughs> you see, Glenn. You see, Glenn. They say you. They said that you're the you're uh, an original Native American man because you backed them up. You're just their pet, bro. You, I don't know why you don't see it. A pet to who? Why? I'm trying to figure out why are y'all asking me when you just said where I'm from. You know where I'm from, so why, Joy? So why are you asking me if you know? And she because I want to. I, I want to hear you say it with your chest. I always say it. I say it all the time. Say it it with your chest like a real native. Say it it in your language. I say it so much, bro, that people tell me stop crying about it. What the fuck? Why couldn't... Okay, then why did I have to say it? How come you couldn't say it yourself? Because it's a double-edged sword. Either y'all tell me I cry about it too much, or you tell me to do this. Bro, we were literally begging you. Which one one do y'all want, bro? Okay, so, all right, well, let's get to business, bro. So, do the Mississippian people, am I right? You're from the Mississippian uh, tribe, right? Cato? From the documentation and the addresses and land patent, yes. No, what did your, no, not, no paperwork. What did your mom and your grand, your ancestors tell you you are? <laughs> it, it, it fixed, it solved a lot of puzzles why she wondered why her mother was you know traumatized and was going through the things that she was going through because when we did the history right and found out why you know we had a lot of things taken from us and why a lot of our family members were unalived that we didn't know because about. you guys were you guys part black are you part black right oh my god you're part black right is that why they got stuff taken from you because we were well aware of that People are saying your mom's European. My folks were here before the title even of my my folks are here before the Louisiana purchase. Welcome to the club, bro. Where 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 was your where are these land patents? That's what I want to know. Don't worry about that, ma'am. Why are you asking me my personal information? Yo, okay. If it's actually Cato land. Because I know where Cato people are. I have an address and it says Cato. It has it's literally the address i'm not gonna go and pay, pay my personal information i have okay, land. Can you oh, like tell me i have same? i have an address literally on the the fucking land in the street no lady i'm not going you're trying to find my business so stop no. playing with hey me. yo nobody who cares about you know we we got our own shit bro so mm-hmm. let, let's get down to business do your people have a language why is she your people have a language bro why is she asking me where my house where my shit is at bro why is she asking me that dude? okay bro i don't know i don't know why she asked you that, but I'm asking you this: you know, Where, Cato what's the people's language? Do they have one? Go back to her. Why is she asking me this personal weird shit? And I'm not doing y'all like. I'm not Stop deflecting, bro. You're deflecting. I'm, not, I'm You're deflecting. Because she asked me something personal that was weird. This is the first question, bro. Because we haven't even gone through the first question. Cato. 
So, really quick hey, before I, have a, I have an hey, address, hello, but I don't know hello. nothing about Cato. I have an address that I hello. didn't know I had. That no, I didn't know my family had because of what happened really because quick. because of how the unaliving and what happened there, right? So, no, but I don't know I nothing though, right? Really okay. Yeah, but you can't say where that land is. Which one of the oh, four states the Cato were actually? I know in. where it's at. I'm not about to go yeah, in detail yeah, and tell y'all. Yeah. This is weird. Can I please hey, say something. Joy, you please. know this is getting weird. They're trying to find out my. This is getting weird, bro. Yo, guys, stop. Everybody, everybody, mute. But opium, opium. Do your people, the Mississippian or Cato tribe, whatever you're claiming. If you could clarify that, do they uh, have a language and do you speak it? What's I, what's going on with the language? I found out because I've been doing because I've been trying to pay respect and look into the history since I'm tied to them. I've been looking into the history. I just recently, about a few months ago, found out the language to Cato because my dad's side's Choctaw. So I was looking into the Choctaw language because I didn't know Cato had a language. So now that I know Cato has a language, I've been looking into it. It's Shata, not Chakta. It's Shata, and we had twenty five. You see the, I'm not gonna keep doing the petty shit, Joy. The synapses. You say you don't want to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. right. Let's, Let's go on, go on to the next. Synapses, okay, right? okay, okay. Yo, I might have to mute everybody. We're just gonna get try to get through these questions because these are the questions that a lot a lot of times get danced around, and you, you know it leaves natives wondering. I know that. Listen. Pay. So, the, we, you know that pay, native bro. people I'm have a very pay. strong because verbal history, right? And shit gets passed down. Your grandma and your mom probably told you shit about about your people, right? You heard stories. To a, to a okay, certain so, extent, Joy, to a certain extent, but due to my situation, due to my what happened with i say we can't we can't umbrella people and you can't sit up there and speak for everyone so for my situation due to my area due to what transpired with my family it was passed down to a certain extent but due to the trauma and most of the things that we found out through the paperwork that we were able to connect the dots with the why we et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And why on my mom's side, I have a lot of family on my dad's side because, you know, they from Kemper County and the whole little magic. But my mom's side, she always wondered why her family, like we never had a huge family on her. Like, you know, a lot of people have a lot of cousins and relatives on their family. But when we, she always tripped from it, from like a teenager, why it was she never had a big family or we never even had family reunions like that. And to find out why we didn't have family reunions is pretty fucked up. Why is that? Because of ethnocide and genocide. No, what's the real reason? Ethnocide and genocide. No, like what's the surface reason? You know, what do they say to you? What's the reason? You know, now they're not going to say genocide and, and Oh, no, that. because no, no, because I grew up as a bro, I grew up as an African American. I didn't have no clue about any of this shit for most of my life. I wouldn't have never even known about well, any of this shit if my mom didn't randomly be like, hey, you know what? Let me do our family tree and just find out something about my family because I don't know shit about my family either. And look what the fuck we found out. So yeah, you but can't my, show hey, us any of this documentation at all? You can't even, I mean, it, it, literally, you can't even at least say the state. Hey, brother. Come on, Joey, can you make it? This lady's brother? weird, bro. Like this late, why is Brother, she keep focusing on that, bro? Listen, there's, there's, no, dude, you're going to always get in, get people on the side that want to ask, you know, questions to, so they can clarify things for themselves. Cause, dude, like, why is she trying to find my being... location of my folks, of my ancestors? She's like trying bro. to get like a location, but I'm not asking for none of you niggas' location, bro. Like, what the fuck? Can I hey, don't okay, don't 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 you don't have anything to worry about. Nobody's coming after you or your family, bro. You don't have to be paranoid. I'm tired. I'm tired. I know I'm where my wait, 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 wait. How are you going to tell me that when bro, I just found out when I just found out that my folks was unalive for some of the shit that they tied to? You, How are you tell me not to be I offered tripping, to bro? help him before because our tribe hasn't a third party genealogist. And but this is what you failed to realize, lady. And even and you admitted. Hold on, lady. Name when I was lady, hold on. Even help. lady, even you admit it because you do know the history. Because I looked up the history too. Even you uh, had to admit that due to us being Cato Indians, we got backdoored by everyone. So I don't have. I don't. To be honest with you, even you said yourself. I don't. I, to be honest, I don't have to do nothing with nobody. So, and you so said, and you, hold, on, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, did didn't you say that yourself? That due to us being Cato Indians in our history, we low key don't have to fuck with nobody, do we? I never said that. Um, I got so you recorded, lady. <laughs> I love. Yo, how don't be recording anything. Do we have? 
And how many dialects did we have? You know what? That's not really important. Thank let's, you. Let's thank get back you, to the. Like, thank you, bro. Like she's wilding, bro. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, like you're. Joey. I get. I yo. I get what she. Why she's asking this shit? Because that's her tribe and all that. She wants to quiz you. She wants to know. You know if you're that's genuine fine, or not. But the, okay. The, but hold on, hold on, Joy. That's fine. Going, if so if somebody tells you that they're part of your tribe or part of your band that was ethnocide and genocide because there was multiple of us that not just me that look like me there's others that look like you and joy and her that were ethnocided and genocided were they not except my people were too and i have people not everyone my, lady and I not have every band not every not every single tribe, person lady not every exactly so you're like saying you. so you're saying every single my so you're speaking for every sure. single kato so you're speaking for every single kato indian is that what you're doing no, I'm not because we have 25 different bands. But okay, I know my people. So I'm part. So I'm. So, so 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 there there wasn't a band. Okay, that was, okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. She said something. And genocided. Was there a band that was ethnocided and genocided? She said something that that I think the rest of the panel wants to know. She said there's 25 bands. Which band are you from? Opium. Hey Joey, can you mod me, brother? Please. Yeah. It's getting a little crazy. Yeah, mind me, Tell me, you Thank want you. me to so you want me to go in three in three steps. So you want me to go from the Mississippian Empire to the Cato Indians, which is actually the Cado the I'm trying I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it starts with a K. So which one do you want me to do? Because it's either the that's what I'm saying. You're trying to say which band, and technically the band is Cato, but then if you want to get even more technical and even more petty, right? It'd be the Kadoshians or whatever however you pronounce it with a K. So how so you want me to keep you want me to go even more petty, bro. That's just what it is, bro. You want me to go no, more and those now. were absorbed into the ones that went to Oklahoma. So it you're doesn't. You're not that. speaking for me. Don't speak that's for me. A federally recognized tribe in that's Oklahoma. That's them. So what are that's you them. About? Okay, that's them. Which that's band are you that's from, my, bro? So the people that line. you're talking about are part of the people that are federally recognized that's in them. Oklahoma. That's okay. them. So that's them. That's them. People on the Dawes rolls. Then you should be going to shit. Oklahoma talking to them. I have my shit, and that's why I don't no have to. Uh, and, 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 acor and, according, and according to them, because it depends on the tribe, right? And I, and you should notice about our tribe, since you're a Cato Indian, right? It depends on the tribe, right? If they want to accept the blood quantum or not, because according to the BIA also, I don't have to, and they don't have to take the, and I don't have to federally recognize, or I don't have to check in if they don't accept blood. There's multiple reasons. I don't have to, lady. I can still claim my shit and I don't have to. I even talked to them and know them and called the BIA and told them and they said themselves, I don't have to. So what are you saying? As long as I have the documentation, I have an address, I have the Dodge Rolls, I don't have to do nothing else. I can well, be happy fine. and claim then my, and claim my, I can claim my blood. That, that I can claim according, according to them and the BIA, I can claim my folks in my bloodline. I don't have to be recognized by any of y'all. Yeah, he's a five dollar. About us, we're talking about what they band you're from. You still have yet to answer, bro. Where am I been? If I'm from the Mississippian Empire and I'm from the Cato answer band, the I'm the, other than that, I'm not going to keep going in more detail because know. it seems like you're trying. Hey, to, seems like she's trying to get my. What are you there's talking about? Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The Miss, so wait, the Mississippian Empire and the Cato Indians are that's that's not. That's not the, the Cato Indians is not a band from the Mississippian Empire. Tell me, please say no. Yo, please say, wait, hold on. See, please you say about no. Stuff you don't even know about. Tell me right now. Yo, are you in is, is not a band, are you not a band from the Miss? No, I need her to tell me that the Cato Indian is not, not a band from the Mississippian He's Empire. Not, but I okay. Am. Okay. Wait, you're saying you Yo. said. Hold on, Can me, somebody wait, clarify wait, you this? Said, wait, you said I'm not. Are you saying that the, that that band isn't? You're saying the band isn't, or I'm not. You, you, he's I didn't not. Hear. He's not. And he so you're telling. So you're telling me. But he likes to spread false So wait. You're about so wait. Wait. You're so wait. You're doing what? So, so wait. You're doing what Glenn just said that y'all were doing. You're telling me. Even though I haven't told you, you even I'm though I, wait, you even even though even though even though yeah, I have okay, yet, bro. even though I have yet so even though I have yet to tell even though I have yet to tell any of you who you are I have not told nobody in this chat who they okay, are okay bro you she's listen she's gone am, bro right yo okay bro she's gone I know you keep going back to her she's gone now let's move on with the questions so you you're from the Cato band let me get to clarify this you're from the Cato band right Joy from the research that I did. 
from what I found, because I, I respectfully went and looked into it because I have an address named after these people. My folks have claimed these people, my have oral history. So I went and did the research, and from the research that I did, they're a band from the Mississippian Empire because there was a bunch of bands from the Mississippian Empire. Okay. All right. Well, are you are are you ready to go through the rest of these questions or no? Yeah, bro. All right. All right. So, you know that Native Americans have like a huge history, verbal history where shit gets passed down from a generation and that's like how I know about nearby tribes and stuff. Do you guys have any type of stories or creation stories or like what battles were you, were you in? Yes. Or wars you guys fought in? Like what? What? what, from what I what's know, something what, that you can bring to the t table story wise about your the Mississippians? I know from the research. Besides us coming from red clay, and besides you know us doing the mound thing and all the other typical things that we went back and forth with, my particular people, the Cato Indians, that were playing middleman with the Spaniards and the French and the Africans that came over here from chattel slavery because we were trying to make peace with everyone, just trying to be the middleman. And due to us being the middleman and trying to respectfully respect everyone coming here, got fucked over. That's why a lot of people that may have Cato Indian ties, they may have some French in them. They may have some Spaniard in them. They may have some African descent in them. That's why I keep trying to tell people. And due to that happening and us trying to play the middleman caused us to be one of the tribes to be ethnocide and genocide and backdoored more than any other tribe in our culture. Because we tried to facilitate everyone. Even she knows that. That's why I had to humble myself. And stop sitting up here saying, oh, everybody's fucking a Mongolian. Everybody's this or everybody's that. I had to cut that shit out. Just due to me knowing my history of my folks. My cousin, Joy. My cousin. Who's, who's his fourth grandfather, Joy. Is Colonel Hen is, 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 is Pierre Laundry. He got the documentation. Pierre Landry, that's the Native American that owns his own museum in New Orleans. That's my cousin's fourth grandfather. I'm a real Cato Indian, bruh. His grandfather's French, of uh, the French general. That's my Sweet. cousin, bruh. Can I say something? Awesome, bro. Can I Good for you. Yo, I want hey, yo, Craig, you um, you're going to have to wait, all right? We're, going, we're doing something right now. I just wanted to thank you. You'll, you'll, have, your you'll have your chance to speak. Thank you um, for bringing me up. Do y'all know who Pierre Laundry is? Y'all Native Americans, he's listed as a known Native American. Do y'all know who Pierre Laundry is? Why don't you even tell us? Because this is what we do. We teach each other shit. You want me to show you guys who my cousin's related to? This would trip me out, which is a real name. This what, man's known What do you mean you're who your cousin's related to? Because, like I told you, me being a Cato Indian, if me being a Cato Indian, right, if, if I just told you that we had, we was, we played the middleman, so that means people are going to have ties to the French or the Spaniards. My cousin is tied to a French general. Sweet, man. I'm, exactly. You know, I don't think any of us could tell you who your ancestors are unless you were to tell us. But, that's um, my point i'm trying and this applies to everyone Joe. that's what i'm trying to tell people that shit huh when i found that shit out that stopped making me umbrella shit i stopped sitting up here telling people individually because that made me show how I, after that i'm like oh wow this shit is crazy ain't nobody ain't no telling who the fuck could be related to who after that shit happened i don't care what you look like no more I don't care what any, if you got that damn paperwork, if you can prove, if you got addresses and shit like my cousin and all this other crazy shit, bruh, because I know what happened with these stupid ass, what, what happened with just history. Oh, yo, 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 opium, I gotta stop you right there. You said cousin a few times, and is it sure it's not your cousins that are enrolled? No, and not bro. you. My cousin only did his genealogy because I did my shit and started finding out all the crazy stuff with the Cato Indian shit. So he was like, fuck it, I'm going to do mine. And he did his shit and ended up finding Pierre Laundry. But that's your cousin, bro. They have your cousin has a different dad or mother. 
I well, know that. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If I'm a Cato Indian and we were cool with the French and the Spaniards, and my cousin ended up having a grandfather that's a a, a, a French general, what does that mean? What does that say? That Joy? doesn't make it relate unless that you were related to that general, dude. Your cousin. Bro. It just shows the intermingling oh of the Cato Indians and yeah, the French. It shows, Spanish, yeah, it bro. shows it, but that doesn't mean you're, it's yours, bro. It's yeah. That's your cousin's, bro. Your cousin has a different mom or father that's not, not even related to you, bro. That's my you dad's that. brother's. That's my dad's brother's son. Okay, yeah, and then which which side is the the general on? Your, his mother's. Yes. That doesn't make him related to you. I'm not like that. You're missing Joy. Glenn, why don't you back him up, Glenn? That's your homie right there. I'd like to speak. I mean, I know I got to wait my turn, but can I? Yeah, go ahead, no, Craig. Yeah, All right, I'm going to I'm going to step in and I'm going to bow out real quick. Um just because I love y'all and I I man I I had 10,000 followers and I had to start over for mass reporting on silly stuff and I I'm not going down the rabbit hole again. But what I am going to say to y'all is that if a band by definition, I'm going to give y'all facts, all right? Is 30 sorry for the word Indians or more, okay? 30. That means that grandfather and the people that were loyal to grandfather and that way of life, whether they came from the woman, the matriarch or the patriarch, as long as they adhered to the family structure, wanted to be a part of that thing, they were a part of the band. Don't interrupt me. Not yet, please. More so, if you look into the last verses of the Star Spangled Banner, it literally says, and what he was saying hit me, where is that band who so vauntingly swore that they would find peace from war's desolation? Their blood has been trampled. I'm sorry, their foul foot, blood has been trampled, foul footprints, something like that. You got to look it up. It'll take you there. So when you have someone removed by generations, bro, saying that just recognize me. And you have a whole group of people saying there is no way you can be. And what is this? And what is that? And then saying that. If it's not recognized by a foreign occupying force, it doesn't exist. All that crap is bogus to me, man. And I just see you cannibalizing each other. And it doesn't make any sense to me. At 51 years old, I'm telling you, young bloods, get it together. That's all. I'm done. Y'all can bash me. You can slash me. You can do whatever it is. But I love y'all, man. Y'all got to do better. That's all I got. That's my thing, Joy. I never said, I never not acknowledged y'all, bro. That's the problem. It's like, and I appreciate you kicking old girl because even though we've had, we went back and forth, we've had issues, bro. I've never not told you who you are. I've never not told no native who they are because I know how my history correlates with a lot of other people's shit. I know how mixed and diverse this fucking area was before colonization. Like, like, like we don't even care about, we, why don't we talk about the bartering system? How come we as people don't never talk? We always, always go to chattel slavery and be like, fuck the bartering. Fuck when everybody was on an accord and we were bartering amongst each other. Like, like we just act like that shit never existed. You know how fucked up that is to all of our ancestors collectively to not even fucking mention the barter system that we all know existed during a period of fucking time. Ain't yo, not yo, we, yo, you don't got to tell me. You don't got to tell me every single road that you've ever driven on what was an Indian trade route. I know about about that, but let me let me tell you tell you, Cray and Opium. You guys fail to recognize 
and res- put respect on Native Americans as a whole. American Indians, no, they're the same thing. No, they're, they're not. They're the same I thing. Say the I'm same sorry, thing but he literally that. said he never took away from you. I never failed to uh, recognize I, anything or anyone. I May I please word? land my plane? I never no, failed what, what Crayon Joe officially. So what he said was that we failed to recognize, brother, no, I embrace you. The problem is my arms are wrapping around you, but your arms don't seem to be wrapping around me. I recognize everything, every struggle. I have gone into your history in order to understand the disconnect between my own. I embrace you. What I do not hear here is you embracing other people who have taken their steps. Even a half of step is a part of a step. I love you. I'm not refusing you. I never will. The only rejection I feel is when the whole reason, the causation was within me when I decided to step up and say, hey, this brother is literally, he's told you. He never talked down on anybody. He humbled that's, himself. That's a lie. I got to stop you right there, bro. He has talked down on my people. He even said it himself. He admitted that he stopped calling my people Siberians and Mongoloids. Even did half you know, of his is step, he this is stopped. Opium's a kill, right? This is did you opium, hear what correct? he said? He because stopped. He was the main one in that live that was mocking. He was helping mock and laugh at the genocide of our children and our people. So I know opium is up here. Hold on, 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 because I'll pull up, this my thing, this my thing, I'll pull up, calling me all types of names. This is what's crazy, because even, even, yo, stop cutting her off. Innocent opium, because you are not. I have told you plenty of times before Stop cutting her off, bro. You are. Because of your words, I will always remember who you are. Do not come up here acting like you're innocent. Hold on. So you mean to tell me uh, the fact that you're mad at me because I, you know, <laughs> lashed out at you guys for not showing the pictures of, of our kids also that were there? So due to the fact of me finding Lashed the other out. pitch, hold you on, you see how you see how you're about to cut me off and get in your feelings? So and I got I got, me, I got proof too. And every time you I showed the proof, every time I showed it, even even when I showed the other demographic, because it wasn't just y'all, it was palm colored kids you in there too. Made fun of this, is my, this, 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 this is what's this is what's children. messed. This is, this what is what's messed up. This is what's messed up is that I can pull the pictures right now and you'll see you'll see you'll see my people. This is what's fucked up. You'll see the palm colored. You'll see the palm. You'll see you'll see. Then you'll you'll come see after us like that when you do. You got it. This is what I got to say. Opium, will you be large enough once more and again to simply apologize for your growth and the fact that you lashed out and the words that you used that hurt a family member, no matter how disconnected they might have been? Can you do that? May I? I've been waiting for a while. I just can opium, please can, opium. Can you be warrior enough to apologize? Can you dead the issue now? Nah, he won't. He won't. Don't speak for him, please. Opium. I'm telling you, we've been. No, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, he's gone. He's yeah, gone. Yeah. All right. Well, this is my thing. It it hurts, and I'll tell you guys this again. And even though people don't realize that they're being hurtful, the person who is being hurt still knows that they feel pain. And when they lash out in defense of themselves or anything else for recognition of their own struggles, this is a human thing that happens. And so if there can be no place where people hear each other and take an opportunity to apologize and accept apologies, then there can never be a treaty which is upheld, which is where we are. I love y'all, man. We got to do better. I someone that made fun of the genocide of my, of my people's children. I don't think so. I'm he sorry. literally I said, but I will sis, not forgive this guy. Sister, he literally, and if that's, and I can, I, and then we can go I'm, at it. Only then will I forgive him. 
okay, then that must happen. But at the end of the day, he literally said before he backed out that his response was because you or the group or whatever was going on seemed not to be inclusive, seemed not to respect the fact that his people were involved as well. And that led to his decision within himself to lash out. You guys have to find some middle ground. Yo, Cray, I don't think you understand what's been going on, but I really got to lit, lit uh, somebody else I'm up. Out. As, you I'm know. Out. I love y'all. Thank you very much. And I'm yeah. bowing out, man. Peace and love. Thank you. Yo, what's up? Uh, Yo, Glenn, say some. These are your people, right? Hello. Say Hello. Say yeah. some. These are your people, bro. You, you, you def were defending these people before they came up, right? How did I defend them? I said I don't know them. I don't know their records, so how can I tell them who they That's are? That's defending how them, bro. Defense. That is defending. I don't know them. What are you talking you, about? You go into their lives and you sit there, bro. You're part of their you conversation. You mod for them, bro. You mod yes. for them. You don't well, even come cares? to their lives. That's, that, I don't mod. I don't mod for Iopium. I don't mod for Print. I don't mod for them. I mod for Josh in Kentucky. That's not them. Yeah, but that's the same. It's the same idea, so, so bro. You, you literally defend them while attacking our native women, Glenn. Put people on me that I don't mod for. Glenn, you, you, you mute just the like, women that go Just like it, it's Glenn. not them because you're not all of me, are you? You're not my people, are you? Glenn, you see that see that mindset you got, bro? You're backwards with it. You're not my Glenn. people, are you? Are you my people? Are you my people? Are you Wallapies? I'm your brother. I'm your native brother. What are you talking about? We no, might not be from Glenn or Bland. No, no, Glenn, I promise you. I promise you, Glenn. You ever come to our come to your elders with this bull, they will freaking spit on you, Glenn. All right, we got some people that are gonna come up here and uh, you know, say something. Hey, brother. How do you guys question? feel about woken the real? He. Hey, pistol packing pin is here too. Yo, yeah, she, she ain't gonna send a request. I, I would I would love it if they come up and answer these questions, but it's probably gonna be the same thing with with uh uh op that we had with opium where they deflect and don't want to answer these simple ass questions. Hey, hey, I got a question, bro. Why y'all trying to go on Glenn like that, y'all? Hey, if you if. Bro, nobody's trying to hear your comedy right now, bro. I get it. You, you got a little show you want to put on. This ain't no, this ain't I, the time, no, bro. I, no, I don't, bro. Like, uh, how about you show your grandma and let people know who she is? How about that? <laughs> Dude, it's funny. Yo, it's funny. You guys Seneca, went to my ancestry. Seneca. Yo, and you guys thought that I... Dude, these people literally went to my ancestry, made my grandma appear like she's black. They tagged some lady with the same name in a yearbook. It's funny. Uh, listen, listen. It's funny, yo. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, nobody cares what you got I to know, say. I know you're <laughs> anyway. Hey, here. Yeah, we got a lot of people that get stuck on my grandma. Boys, show my, my grandma. Yeah, I got pictures of my grandma. You all got froze. The fuck? Y'all you, are being weird. Yo, this is the shit I don't like. You showed your own grandma. Why don't you come up here and tell me who my who I am? What's the topic? What's the topic? Um, there seems to be a group of pretendians, whatever, that like to shoot, uh, call Native Americans, Siberians, Mongoloids, whatever, because they don't know who who they are themselves, and making other people feel bad is like them is what they do pretendians well, hello there superman what are you doing the color follow me so native americans are yo i got this spot open for pistol pack and pen or whatever 
Hey, Superman, you got to speak up a little. We can't hear you. Native Americans are American. Huh? What? I'm asking. What are you asking? Are Native Americans American? Native American. We're the most American. We received our citizenship. Yes, we are, are technically considered naturalized citizens as long as we're born on U.S. soil. Does that answer your question? Why did you have to receive any type of citizenship? Because that's the nature of the political system in the United States. But this wouldn't be the United States. But it is the United States, unfortunately, because colonizers. So why do you call it that? Because that we don't. I call it, I call it Turtle Island. <laughs> right? So start calling it that. I have been I this whole time. I also call it Turtle Island. Unfortunately, there is a large group of people who don't recognize that or understand that as a term. Ignore when we say them. Turtle Island, they Ignore start thinking them. that we're talking about the Caribbean. Ignore them. Is it not possible for you to understand the concept of both? No, it is. But if you have one belief, stand on your belief. We do stand by. Yeah, I, 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 I'm standing on my square, bro. Trust me. We do stand by our beliefs. However, we also have to operate and navigate a world that was not designed for us. We live under the boot of the colonial U.S. government. We use the term Indian not because we identify ourselves by it, but because it is legal terminology that is used in our treaty law. Thank why you. Not, why not just use your name or your tribe name? I do. We do. No, what do you What do you want? Why are you, are you claiming you're native or you're Aboriginal? What What's your stance? I'm superhuman. I get it. All right. Thanks. Hence, while well, I nicked him, nicknamed him Superman. This guy said that you'll be able to lift a car pretty soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, he's oh he's Unanaki, right? He's the Unanaki power. Unanaki power. If I may say something, though, I've been waiting for a while, um, and it's it's to address some people that were up here earlier that got offended because we were asking questions. I understand that a lot of people are trying to reconnect with their indigeneity, um, and yes, a lot of these people that are you know making outrageous claims and stuff they are trying to reconnect and some of them do have a genuine reason to reconnect but the whole thing is when we ask these questions these are asked of everybody it's not like you'll see a native from another community show up in a, in a different community than the one they're from and they get questioned the same way even if they have stereotypical native american phenotype phenotypical features they want to know exactly. where you're from. They want to know who your family is. They want to know what your community is. They want to know what tribe you're from. Some, <laughs> unfortunately, some of us still have clan beefs and stuff. It's not personal against you. It's yes, there is there is a rampant problem of anti black blackness in the indigenous community. I'm out here trying to fucking fix that, but the problem is no one is entitled to be recognized unless you're willing to come and show up with humility and be willing to say, hey, this is who I am. That's how it is. That's what it is to be indigenous. No one is entitled to a title. We all have to prove ourselves in, ev everywhere we go. Yeah, that's 100%. I'll ask anybody, you know, even if we don't think you're native, you're still going to get asked. It's the people that don't phenotypically look native that get the most offended. And, I and that's just... I, I can understand that because, you know, I'm not phenotypically native, you know, I'm mixed. My dad's native. My mom's Jewish. People don't recognize me. They don't recognize, recognize me as white, but they don't recognize me as native either. And it's like you live your whole life being told that you're you're too white to be native but not white enough to be white. I, I see that from my cousin who's Afro indigenous as well. He is always told that you know he's abandoning being black for identifying with the tribe and people in our tribe are racist as fuck and it's sad but it's it's we all have to understand that this is the this is the work that we have to do is we're trying to you know overcome the barriers that have been set up not 
always by us. These are race is a colonial construct. We are sovereign nations. Our identity was racialized by colon, uh, colonizers to set up a system of hierarchy and oppression. And we're going to have to overcome that if we're going to survive going forward. We're going to have to recognize our sovereignty as nations, not as a racial construct. But regardless, we all have to recognize that these are questions that we're going to be asked. These are things that we're going to have to overcome moving forward. And I think that we have to come like, I don't agree with everything that Cray was saying when he was up here, but I do recognize one thing, which is that we're all going to have to come to a mutual understanding, which is having grace for people who are reconnecting because not everybody was grown up with their language. We, you know, my auntie, she's a speaker of our language, but she went to residential school and she gets traumatized. She has flashbacks trying to speak our language because she was beaten in residential school. We just had Truth and Reconciliation Day yesterday. She was in a uh, residential school in Pennsylvania and they beat the crap out of her for trying to speak her language. So not everybody grew up speaking their language. Not everybody got the privilege of hearing our creation stories. A lot of us have been um, diasporized by the um, adoption system, the 60s scoop. Like these are all traumas that we have endured. And these are all things that we like my tribe, we didn't get to grow up in our in our traditional homelands, like all reservations are removed from our traditional homelands. But we got moved all the way into Oklahoma. So we don't even have access to our native me uh, medicines. We're all you know, uh, it's an amalgamation of tribes that we were put together with. So it's like we can't hold everyone to the same standards. There are some some standards that we all have to be willing to accommodate which is grace and understanding and humility. That's the native way, regardless of where you are, whether you're one of the five civilized tribes, whether you're from the North, whether you're from the West, it's all the same in that aspect. But we all have to be willing to come together to an understanding and have grace until they prove themselves to be an op. In which case it's, you know, I don't know, free game, whatever. But still, that's all, that's all I had to say. No. What's up, uh, Indian? Not Indian, it's Indian. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Indian. My, my accent. You gotta say it real res like Indian. Yeah, hey. I'm trying to debate this. Uh, <laughs> the princess, the Louisiana princess. Tell her to come up here. Oh man, also in another live, they were talking about how, because I seen Trail of Tears in a comment. The I don't I don't use the term black because that's a title and the caste system that was given to us in the 1600s and and I know black people don't exist. I'm a brown my my melanin is Okay, brown. okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So but you you understand what I'm asking without all the semantics, right? So you say do I believe that brown people was on this continent? prior to any other race. the ones the ones with the afros i believe brown people are indigenous to all lands okay so do you believe that your people that look like you do you believe that your people that look like you um were here before natives well i i know this as far as uh gen not genealogy but uh anthropology we were here before everyone yeah but in yeah. north america not i'm no, yeah i'm, I'm talking about north america okay yeah globally but that's not what i'm asking i'm asking about north america i mean north america would be included australia north america okay bro now Europe, you're being africa. funny bro you're dancing no, around the questions your no, indian name's gonna north, turn into north dance north around america. questions bro no you, you're getting hostile i said north south america australia Europe, uh, Africa, we were everywhere. What do you mean, bro? No, that's not. Okay, do you think that native, <laughs> bro, it, let me ask you again. It's a yes or no question this time. Don't dance around it. I'm not. Do you think that that people that look like you were here before people, the na Native Americans here? Yeah, I think we existed before you guys existed. He, I'm talking about here in North America. Yeah, I'm saying here and everywhere else. He's okay, bro. Man. Well, you're lost. You're lost, bro. I'm sorry to tell you, and I know the truth hurts, and I probably can't hurt your feelings, bro. Nobody can hurt mine. 
but I'm telling you, you're wrong. Like you're I absolutely said, wrong. We've all been programmed and indoctrinated with a bunch of lies, bro, and I get it. Okay, I get it. You want to be superior to everybody. That's no, what no, I'm, I'm getting from you. No, I'm not superior. That's far from. I don't. I don't. I'm not ego. I. I. I I'm not even a, attached to my ego like that, bro. I'm just on a quest for truth and knowledge and realize that white T people then came through and messed a lot of people up. Where's bro. your proof though? Where's your proof that you were here before us? Where's your proof? Where's your, where have they uncovered your people? Anthropology. It's us. Bro. When, when they uncover us, hold on. When they uncover us, it's us that they uncover. When they, when they. In those mounds too. In those That's mounds, it's true. us, bro. It's not, not you guys. Lying. Okay. Put up your facts. Put up your sources. How about no, you, you put up some here. facts, bro? No, you're no, the one. one just said, you just said. No, you're the one, bro. You're the one. How about you say some, they show us some said, facts, bro. You, you can't show us anything. You just you're not going to be able to show said, us anything, bro. Nope, nope. You just sit there and said, they found your bones through anthropology in the mounds. I said, put the source up. Don't get angry. Yeah, but you before that, you said your up. people were here, were here in North America first. Show your facts, said, bro. I will. America, I will after I you do. Over. After you do, I will, bro. Lord help us. After that you sound, do, I will. That sounds childish, bro. If you got proof that they found native bones, I don't have to, bro. Other people do no, it for I me. Say you have to. You just sit there and say it. They found yeah, but so did you. You just sit there and said that, bro. I could say the same thing, bro. I'm not doing this, doing going in circles with you, bro. He's he's trying to play games this whole time. I'm asking him. You see, you see how they dance around the questions and the, the deflect and then ask us a question. Come on. They do find like part of the way that we have as 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 Chickasaw people, the way that we have established that our origin stories are true, like the story of uh, Chickta and uh, Chicksa, the the two brothers that went across the Mississippi. The way that we know that those stories have at least an element of truth to them is because of anthropology, where we have live we have um anthropological records from from the west where people from the west that are being unearthed their dna matches living ancestors or living descendants today who are enrolled members of the chickasaw and Choctaw nations so it's it's like the cheddar man in england who has a living relative that lives less than a mile from where his grave was discovered this is happening in the americas as well so we have we have people enrolled in our tribes that don't necessarily have African-American phenotypes that are related to these 25,000 year old bones. So these are these are things that are happening. And, and I want to clarify that this does not mean that, you know, Afro indigenous people are not valid. They are. But that does the whole argument that one one race was here before anyone else is invalidating and just it's not feasible in a continent as big as North America. You can't say that we all looked the same before white people got here. That's just absurd. Okay, I got I got something. Forget the language, forget the stories. Why aren't the clans, tribes, territories and reservations, why aren't they heavily melanated? Oh, some of them are like if you look, especially in South America, I'm talking majority. I mean, not I'm not talking about five or six tribes on the East Coast. I'm talking about majority. If they were all here, like they said they were in the millions and the masses and they all got had to go into slavery. How come they didn't hold on to any language? Why do they speak A.A.V.E.? Why, why aren't there clans and tribes and stories about them? Well, how come our ancestors haven't told us anything about these people? We seen them the first time we seen the white man. Are you asking me or is that just like a, an open it's question? Gen general, okay. anybody can answer that. I was gonna say, cause like, I don't-, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm asking everybody. I'm asking, no. Sorry, it's just the way I talk. It's the assumption. It's the assumption that is made that all tribes lived along the equator, which is what causes skin to be darker than most. So, the assumption that we were just centralized on the equator is is far fetched, because there was hundreds of millions of us and we lived everywhere. Yeah, it's. I'm not talking just. Okay, when I say black people, and I'm not. This is, you know, for educational purposes. 
I'm not talking about like, oh, because I'm talking about African Americans, like the people with the curly hair, afros and all that, the ones that get mad when people braid their hair. I'm talking about those people. Why, why, why are they so original to North America and natives aren't? They're the, I'm, and I'm asking the ones sent in the comments. Prin, why don't you come up here? You're, you're, you seem like you're so offended. Why don't you I, come I, up here and answer a few of these questions? I, I, could, I could bring up some information that would be very, very helpful. So wherever colonialism exists, you have the essence of colonial schizophrenia. And what colonial schizophrenia is, is when you're taking on the white identity of the colonizer and you're erasing all your indigenous identity. And so what essentially is happening is colonization is victorious amongst those black people, period. And also, can I say something real quick? Like, host, I, I respect you and, and I appreciate the work that we're doing here, but we've got to be really careful about making broad statements based off of racial phenotypes. That is part of the anti-blackness that I'm really trying hard to deconstruct in our communities because th there are ethnocentrics, there are hoteps, and the, the, the people who um, promote misinformation, pretendians, and then there are black, there's the black community. There are black people. Those you're right. You're absolutely right. It's just I'm, I'm, maybe maybe it's something that's you know I I'm from I'm from New York, Buffalo, New York, and it's ninety percent black. Um, people around here don't have a problem saying black people. I don't think anybody can. It's just only on TikTok people say, oh, you can't say that. Well, that's and and I I understand and, and I, I understand different communities, but we we have like TikTok is a very diverse platform. We have people that are from all different communities, people that aren't even from North America that are tuning into these lives and hearing these statements that have been used to marginalize and other their communities and dehumanize them as people, and we have to be better than that. We can't be subscribing to the colonial dialect here like we have to rise above so, so, so um, 100 years of us allowing you to exist and escape slavery and that you treat us like shit and then you want us to bend over and then kiss your feet like fuck no that's not our shit we are indigenous this is our land I you bet. are the guest here yo she's she's not she's not that bro I'm I'm indigenous. Like don't don't come at me like that. I am Jewish and indigenous. I I have Afro indigenous relatives, but don't come at me like that for defending an, another community that we are trans uh transsexual. The with. community that's being erased by the community you're trying to defend. I did not understand what that what he said. He says that you're tra you're defending the community that's trying to erase ours the black community is not trying to erase us there it's not the black community it's, it's pretendians i think that's what he means about the black community so stop generalizing you know who the fuck we're talking about so stop with this fucking essence of trying to be the high moral person yeah we're not talking about the whole black community i just want to make that clear um people know who we're talking about when we say black people who claim they're original to north america we know all who they're talk who they're talking about there's like 20 of them in a cult and and you and, know that this cult hold on sis you know that this is a cult and you know this is only on tiktok because outside of tiktok you really don't see that at all and i'm okay, from california it is outside of tiktok because i'm from california no, it's not, at our synagogues and shit black hebrew israelites show up at our synagogues and okay so stop defending these people then stop defending I will them right always now. defend the black community i will never defend i'm not talking about the, i'm not talking about the black community we're talking you know we're who talking, we're talking about, about pretending Yes. Then say that. Yes. Then we need to we need to specify and say that, okay? Because because we can cause irreparable damage. All right. I just want to clarify to that. Us, like they did to us. So no, but they're essentially asking us to, to walk us. around on eggshells for their I'm benefit. Fuck is, that shit. This is our right land. Is it's time for us to take back our land. Right. Our right no. okay, and our, our I'm voices. Okay, Nemo. I'm hearing a bunch of racist bullshit. You're not going to tell us what to do and how to do. We are going to tell you what to do and how to do. Take your You're Eurocentric idealism and get the fuck out of here, period. Why are you white supremacist bullshit? Eurocentric idealism is white supremacy, dumbass. You're perpetuating white supremacist it. Bullshit. You're perpetuating white supremacy. Why are you co-signing? You are perpetuating white supremacy. No, you are. I'm not. You are. 
How am Period. I? How am I by defending another BIPOC community? You're not defending the BIPOC blackness. community. You're defending the wobbles that we are attacking. That's what you're I'm doing. Not I, yes, okay, you are. First of Period. All, I'm not. Everybody heard them. it. It's on recorded. It, it's everybody heard it. Okay, well, play it back because you're obviously fucking deaf. I'm not defending people who are spreading. That's not what we're. I'm not. Yo, defending with, okay. Centric bullshit. All right, all right, all right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's let's move on. Um, we got a new person to the panel. What's up, Poison? Hey, um, so somebody came up here earlier, and I also see, like, the whole um, friend group of the pretendians that are here. So since y'all did not want me to show y'all the sources that shows that y'all weren't here, and when y'all got here, it was way after indigenous people were here, y'all, y'all, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you evidence, okay? This is from the Library of Congress. The Library of Congress is the oldest library. The federal is a federal institution. So all of these documents, obviously, it was researched by the federal government, and they had to release this information. Obviously, do y'all see this? Africans came to the New World in the earliest days of the age exploration in the early 1500s. That is when the ex the age of exploration started. Just because y'all say, oh, they traveled here, they traveled here. Yes, I know our people traveled here, but they are not indigenous here. They came here. They were traveling to different countries. They also went to parts of Europe. They are not indigenous to America. And y'all have some type of mental illness if you believe that y'all are indigenous here. And the, all, another issue I have is that y'all don't want to believe that. Listen. We the only way we got here and the only reason why black Americans are here is due to the fact that we had coastal raids that kidnapped black people and brought them here on plantations. And we were here due to chattel slavery. We were not here because we were the first ones here. If that's the case, I, I want everyone to tell me what were you guys doing when Native Americans and indigenous people were being were, were suffering because of white people? What happened to what happened to those black people that were here? Explain it. No one has an answer. If that was the case, when all the indigenous people were fighting for their land, why didn't the black people who were so-called indigenous here, why didn't you guys aid them? Why didn't you help? Oh. Oh, okay. I have um, piece of, um, my other piece of, um, what is it called?